the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Yeah. So, you know, it wasn't like it was total stony. No, no. Wow. I cultivated I broke it up. I did what I needed to do. But even in that, there were some things that was just going to not allow me to get a bumper crop. And I, I say bumper crop. And you know, some years, right. you can have a yield that's, that's a certain amount. But right. then the next year, that same amount of acreage may produce you three times as much crop as the year before it was a bumper crop i mean i don't understand i don't know the difference but i i, I don't know i just think I that I, I think some I'm of the gonna... yield some of the yield had to do with the ground that well, I, I don't, I don't think actually at all. Because, okay okay listen because I'm on my daddy's tongue there have been places where the soil was absolutely perfect right, right? The, the seed fell on that same ground it, right you can put it in the flower pot that has absolutely perfect soil Every seed is not going to produce the same amount. Exactly. 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 Now, is that because of the soil? It could be part of the soil. It could be part of the seed. Maybe the sunlight was a little less there and the soil was good. Maybe it didn't get much as much water because of the runoff based on how that land was laid over there. I mean, it could be a lot of different factors. It could be that the seed that was sown there wasn't really the best of seed in that particular group of seeds. I mean, I think there's a lot of factors. We just can't point out one factor there's as to why it well, did. I mean, I, but I think, but, but I think yeah, when, yeah. when we examine the factors, when we examine everything, uh, if we got to take, if we look at it from a personal perspective, we can trace a line from Jesus to me, whatever else is coming after that. Because it's basically what, what's happening there. Uh, because regardless of who else produces, whatever, what am I producing? And, 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 and yeah, in reference to what Christ has sown into me, what am I producing? Even even if I looked at my spiritual growth, am I growing in love, joy, peace, long suffering, patience, meekness, gentleness, faith, temperance? And if anybody, if what that would do, literally does, it inspires others to partake of the seed that you they're thinking of. So as you produce yourself, as as the fruit of the spirit produced in us through Him, this this seed. It encourages others to take of that seed, and it might be one person that partakes of it. Like if we cut counted Philip in the unit, and Philip witnessed the one unit, right. he won that day. But how many did the unit get? Like you know, I, I, I think this is an amazing discussion. I really appreciate it this. I mean, I, I just have one question. Okay, so the guy, we know the seed was the word of God. The Bible uh -huh. said it was good ground, but yet it only produced. 30%. Right. Was it because he gave every man his talent according to his several ability? Is that why we're saying one produced 30 and one produced 60? Because the best this guy could have done with everything being right, good soil, great seed, the best he could have done based on the ability that I'd give him was 30%. So he produced 30%. Is is And, and the one in 60, is, is, I don't, I'm is right. that what we're saying? Because we know the ground think, was good. The Bible said it good. was good ground. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We know the seed was good. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Please. So, now we know <clears throat> from Scripture that God has ordained every person in the kingdom to be conformed to the image of his son. Right? Yes, sir. Is it 30%? One, no, one fold. It's un that, it, that's it, his it, will. We, no, sir, that's not his will. Okay, is it 60%? No. Not his will. Okay, so we know that when it comes down to sonship, that the son has been set forth to be that thing, that, that, that fruit that God will accept. And to make sure that the son, that all sons conform to the same image, he does not go outside of the sun to get more sun. He brings you into the sun to conform you to that sun, which he has already demonstrated that he is accept he accepted, and that sun is pleasing to him. Yes, him, sir. What, what are you saying? You in Let to, to, to that sun. 
but what are you saying? I'm still we I'm still not what you saying is that when you use the example of the evangelist that's preaching all over the world and 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 bringing people into the kingdom, uh, uh, were you using that as a measuring the, of others receiving Christ and not, but yet they don't bring a whole bunch of people to the kingdom that they are not? I'm saying when that person is doing it, he now has become the sower. Yeah, he, what well, Jesus is so right? I mean, no, you no, said no. I'm saying when the evangelist does it, the evangelist has become the soul. Now Jesus is sowing through him. So, so, and but he, the, hold on, and he through sowing the word. There are people that hear that that good soul that hear that word, and I and I have to back up and tell you about Myron's explanation of these different kinds of soul because I don't know if y'all caught what he said last time, but I I don't think that. When I ask the question, how the good soil become good soil? Is that a given situation? Are you dealt a good soil hand and that's what you got to deal with? And if you're dealt wayside soil, that's what you got to deal with? Or is the scripture telling you that the kingdom of God works like this? The first time you hear the gospel, you might be wayside soil. You go through some things in life and God is conditioning you. And the next time you hear the word, you might be stony ground soil. So there's a spirit uh, of growth. Uh, but you are progressing through life based on the okay, conditioning yes. that God is doing in you. Tragedies and all kinds of things are happening. Yeah. Yep. I think there's a progression. To get you right. Yep. Yes. Right. Well, the, well, the word I'm, heard is not just a word on wayside soil where the enemy can take it. A word is on thorn ground where it can get good depth. A word is among thorn where the where the where the life gets choked out of it. But he's trying to move you to a place where you're good. I believe that. Yes, sir. Well, well, and, that's, and, and that's what we're saying is that I think when we start off was the spiritual growth. There's a, that, that, that ground, and we're talking about that individual soul, that individual person has in themselves. No, he's not talking about growth. He, he, the, the, the grounds are there. The well, grounds well, are there to tell you that you can either be in this condition or this condition or this condition. Now, how do you start out? You don't start out good, Lord. You don't. You got storms. You got hard you rock. Hard concrete. Rock. Right. That's yeah. what <laughs> so that's why we're saying. I think. I think that's what we're saying. And maybe put in the same concept. <laughs> we're talking that there's a progression of that's the believer exactly. moving toward that ability to bear much fruit. And, and that's what you're just saying. He's expecting you. He's expecting you any more than you expect. When the tomato plant first popped up, the little spring come out the ground. You ain't expect the tomato tomatoes to be on that little spring. Exactly. So and so it's got to pop up out of the ground. It's yeah. gotta have sunlight. It's gotta be conditioned. It's gotta be fertilized. It's gotta be conditioned to the brain to a place where it's fruitful. It's right. got to grow. It got it gets to stronger. grow. And, so, and, 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 so all I'm telling you is, is that in terms of the kingdom, now we're talking about the kingdom. When Jesus right. showed up, he's the only son. Right. Right. How are you gonna get more sons? You get all the sons of God through faith in Christ you're Jesus. Born again. You gotta get born again. How are we gonna get more sons in terms of the parable? You gonna get like you said, is as they as they mature to the point where they can. Because you come in as babes, and then you mature as saints, and then you become more fruitful based on and that when I can and that's why I think we go right. back to the question. You, 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 huh? you only become a son by getting Jesus in you. Right, you gotta but, get, you gotta get the right, seed but, in. right. You, know, you get the seed in, right? So there's a spiritual growth that goes with it, right? Yeah, and when the spiritual growth occurs, then you inspire others to get the seed in them. Exactly. I mean, this is what I'm. This is what I'm hearing anyway from my. Well, well I'm saying, could I, I, I do. I think it's for for making sure everybody understand two things. Mm -hmm. I think it's two components here. There's the like you said, is the seed, the sower. Whether the sower, the sower is Christ, and he comes into Ken Taylor's heart because the word was sown into his heart his soul may be or the condition of his spirit or his soul sometimes it could be heart thorny ground heart uh could be uh ground with thorns in there those are the progression of the believer then well, once listen, he, on. let me interject something though when, when you're thinking about that you have to remember that none of those grounds bring forth fruit that's right unfruitful we agree none right. of those grounds produce anything Right. Yeah, so, so, he, so, so he can't be satisfied. <laughs> he can't be satisfied with wayside, 
Sony or Sony because they don't produce nothing. But well, you, well, you know, so exactly. all of that seeds sown on that ground yields zero. Yeah, but but it's sown there, though, right? Yeah, for a purpose. It don't yield nothing. It's but it's sown there for a purpose, right? It's sown so that you can get it to the point where it is good ground producing fruit, right? I mean, that's the whole point, isn't it? Yes. That, that we 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 sow into the kingdom the souls or minds or hearts yourself. And then you got to get to a point where you can be like that evangelist you're talking about. And like you said, surrender all so you become that good ground. Let you me know, give you the difference. You know what's really funny is that I think the only thing that we've really sold, you know, I believe, is, 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 is Christ. We preach Christ. We preach, that's the seed that we're sowing. Right. The, 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 one that's actually, the one that's actually tilling the soil is the one that Jesus pointed out. He said, I am the true vine, but my father is the husband man. So when mine was talking last week, and, and God knows when, when Bishop brought it up, some some trials, some tribulations, some tragedies, some things are going to go into your life that's going to prep you for 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 that seed when it falls the last time around, and uh -huh. it's going to get you from being stony hard all the way up to first. I mean, the, well, man, the, the good ground. May I ask a, yes, sir. May I ask a question? Do. And and then and 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 I and I and I again I love this discussion. Thank you all so much. Um, we understand that I'm the vine, and, and and you are the branches, and we understand that the branch is where the fruit produces, but the branch is not the source of the fruit. Right. That comes from the vine. The vine pushes the fruit through. The branch bears it. Okay. Yeah. With that in mind. Um, you talked about the progression and 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 the heart could get conditioned or the ground gets conditioned at a point where it's now good ground mm -hmm. i'm having a problem understanding it's good ground and the seed is good why is some only producing 30 mm -hmm. and some producing 60. what is the why is there why is it not all it's all good ground now we're at the point that this is the only condition that produces fruit mm -hmm. totally correct the other three didn't produce no fruit this one does mm -hmm. and it's good ground okay. and it's the seed so so why is it not all and i luke did say just a hundred okay i got that from yeah. luke. but but i'm just saying so why in these other ones why is there 30 and 60 now why 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 is it not all 100 across the board uh, I think because... can i interject one one thing I believe the ground where the seed fell among thorns is good ground. That's not what the scriptures say, though. It's it doesn't. It, it's it's not that it's unfruitful. It's the thorns grew up and choked it. Yes. Now, but it didn't bear fruit. It, bear with me. If if not for the thorns, it would it would continue to grow and bear fruit. Doesn't mean that the ground wasn't good. Hmm. There was some external so, things that were happening. And it there. does it does in the context of the parable because it well does. he chooses he chooses to distinguish good ground as being not wayside, not stony. And not thorny. Uh, well, well, well the, the thing that I, 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 I'm seeing is that there are external, the external factors that will determine whether or not you're going to produce. You, you. I want, I want to hear him out though. Go, go, go ahead. Well, if not for the thorns that grew up and choked, yeah, because it says and choked it, yes, and it yielded no fruit. Yes. So if it did not choke it, it would produce fruit. That's just from that's just from yeah. my understanding. Now, uh -huh. the, yeah, now the, the, the the Bible t talks about someone planting tares in the garden, and yeah. they grow up with the wheat, and you don't go out and and pick that. You allow it to grow up and you is separated 
at the harvest. Am I correct? True. Yeah. So, and then that that was just one point I was talking about. But the other thing, and <clears throat> what you accept and believe is what's going to to bear fruit in your life. Yes, sir. I think that we we yes, sir. We we grow. And what we allow <clears throat> the seed to take over in our life it is where it bears fruit. Now, if you don't accept a part of God's word in your life, that part will not bear fruit. That's okay, what we're thinking. So, there, 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 go ahead. Go and ahead. So let me tell you something about believers as I've been encountered them in my own life. I, I, I've been at the thing, but I've met, talked to all kinds of people, deal with all kinds of people. Let me, let me ask you something. So are you, uh, do you not understand that God is dealing with you according to the uniqueness of how he created you? I believe so. All of, of us course. are not the same. Of yes. course. Okay, so now this, <laughs> now, now this is actually Jesus actually incorporates this in a parable that he tells in Matthew chapter 25. And, and, and then he says this. He says, for, for the second time in verse 14, you can just read it in your Bible. You got to put it on the screen. You got your Bible in front of you. I keep mine in front of me. Matthew chapter 25, verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And to mm -hmm. one he gave five talents. Right. And to another, two. And to another, one, to yes. every man according to his several abilities. I, I, I alluded to that earlier. I quoted that same exact scripture. And I asked, is that why we some 30, some 60, some 90? Because based on our several abilities, is what yeah <laughs> That's what I'm, this, so, so, so think about it there are some people who are like paul that when god called him this rascal has the guts to abandon everything yeah yeah, yeah well the <laughs> twelve did yeah he, 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 he when, when he when he goes back and come his life he said i've been shipwrecked been flogged i'm facing peril when God called him and this seed conceived in his heart, in him, it found <laughs> a place of absolute and total surrender almost on the level of Jesus himself. Now, all of them died. All of them are martyred. But Paul is, is, Paul is addicted to this thing. Every one of us, when this word, when we get saved, there is a certain... I, I hate to say it, but there's a there's a certain line that we draw in how far we're willing to go. Mm -hmm. Come on, Amen. come on, <laughs> come on. Amen. Can I ask a question? Can I ask we, a question? We got lines that some of us it scares us to think. Mm -hmm. After God, my, I would cry my own. And I think that the scripture allows you to decide how much you want to sacrifice. I just think it's it's the renewing of the mind. It's how what level we come to, and 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 appropriate into our lives and allow them to live through our lives. Our faith in and walking in that kingdom, that word that has been sown in our heart. But let me yeah. just ask you a question, because I'm gonna go back to the same scripture you just used that I had alluded to earlier before that. But let me just ask you this: the Bible says that he gave to one two talents, yeah. and he gained from that two additional talents. Yeah. Listen, five. Gained five, ten gave ten. For the two that got two, wasn't that a hundred percent? For the five that got five, wasn't that a hundred percent? For no, the ten no. that gave ten, wasn't that a hundred percent? Come listen, on, now. listen. I never. I listen. I am of the mind that if you got thirty percent in you, that's all well and good. That, that, that far as I'm concerned, if you got thirty percent in you, you produce thirty percent. That's a hundredfold. Yeah. But now, if yeah, you well, got ten percent in you and you produce, and you produce thirty percent, now we got a problem. 
Yeah. <laughs> but 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 then why would the parent for call it 30 percent? That means there was 60 70 percent of capacity yeah. that, you didn't, that you didn't realize. Legit. I think that's that, that's pretty accurate. If it goes along with the other parable, because he gave them so many talents. He gave, he so gave them so many abilities. He and he invested what? This guy invested nothing in one and got nothing. Hey, but the other ones invested, he gave him and he invested all, all he had and he returned what he got. It looks so, like hundred. So I, I think that God invests a lot more in us sometimes than we are able to pull out. But I like he to invest it all. In, 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 amen. And and there's the, also the fact that some people are actually sowing in areas. There are external, you know, factors that prevent people from producing as well. I mean, some people are sowing in some very hard areas where people really don't want to hear the gospel. And no matter what they put out there there's not going to be a, a, a return as great as they would want it to be. Especially where they've been sent, right? They could be in the area right, where... Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, right, it, is that the guy that got one teller and gave right. one teller back? That's a hundredfold. That's a hundredfold. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 he, yeah, that's he, a lot, he, though. He, 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 he didn't do nothing. Oh, he, he, he did nothing. He got one seed, he got one seed back. It's right here. I couldn't check my seed. Hey, no, 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 no. Listen, 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 no. The reason he only buried, he buried nothing because he buried it in the earth. He buried it in the flat. But he, the guy did say, you could have just put it in the bank and I could have got at least interest on that. So if somebody gives a one talent, they still get interest if they leave, put it where it can flourish. So but I, the, 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 the major thing. Is that on increase. Yeah. That, 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 that is increase. the increase. He is not satisfied when there ain't no increase. That's right. Well, it's right. Not, it's it's increase. Increase. not true. Right. And, 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 I, and I think that that is the point that really is important in this particular parable is that <laughs> he's not expecting us to get saved and go sit on the couch. <laughs> you know, he's get saved and go out there and get Do on something, the right? Yeah. Right. So he expects us to do something with what he gave us. Exactly. So he told them that the, at the yep. very minimum, you could have put it in the bank. And let me tell you something by putting it in the bank ain't yeah. no guarantee you'll get 100 percent. you might get three percent you might get ten percent you know but you at least put it somewhere where yeah. it has some potential to give gain some usury right. and so i think that when he gave us things based on uh how we our diligence our disciplines our faith our walk in it then we have that opportunity that we have to factor something in on this as to the percentage or the ratio of the growth that's going to come from the initial deposit. And for some, 30% to me is 30%. I can't see that as 100%. Right. He only gained 30% of his initial deposit, but he still got something back on it. So he did use it to right. gain. He got an increase. But he didn't gain. He, yeah, he, got, he didn't get 100%, but he did gain on it. He did some gain on it. Exactly. And I think that was his... The way he appropriated it into his life, his right. diligence, his 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 dedication to it, his adherence to it, his acceptance of it, his walking in it, uh, kind of dictated the level of, of of gain that he got from yeah. it. I mean, because yeah. right. I gotta look at 60, 30, 60, 100. I mean, it's they're not the same. They're not the same. Yeah. You know and the it, crazy thing is the what? one who 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 only gave one back, actually. Buried it. He buried in his flesh. <laughs> he didn't right. get nothing from it. Right. And, and, and even John. So he, he planted it and didn't use it. Right. And, and, see, and, John, and John 15 too says the same thing, basically, saying is that every branch of me that bears not fruit or you not it increase, yep. he takes us away. And, and throws it into happens. the fire. <laughs> right? So I'm saying he throws it in the fire. Yeah, that's, that's kind of hard. Yeah, so I think I think Jim, I think that's a good point you're making is that 3060 is subjective to the, the ability that he gave each individual saint. In the environment you're working in. Right. And Bishop, I think where you're coming from oh. is that if they surrender, like you said, if they I guess if you go all in, all in, I mean you then then, then you can produce that more souls to come into the kingdom. Well, let me, I let me, let me give you another parable. Jesus told this parable. He told the parable about, he said, it's enough. 
He said that there was a man that owed his master five hundred million dollars. Right. And another one that owed his owed his, owed his master a hundred million. Five hundred. Okay. He said neither one of them could pay him back. Right. He said, and the master frankly forgave them both. Right. 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 He said, now which of them you think will love him most? Right. Right. You see, he's trying to get yeah. to see. This thing is all about the individual. Amen, okay. man. That's see, what I, I think. I don't that's know about you. I don't know about you. But you see, I think out of all y'all on him, y'all y'all have no idea of what he had to do to get me. <laughs> see, see, I I know. See, I'm the only guy that would that would confess. I deserve to go to hell. God, yeah, well, I, I, well, I, I have with you, bro. <laughs> of eternal damnation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause, cause see, I would do some stuff. Now, I, listen, I, I knew it was wrong, and would still do it. I still feel like I deserve hell. <laughs> no, you so, don't. So when I found out that he was willing to forgive me, yeah, I took all, all that stuff. And see, so so the depth to which his love and grace can penetrate all depends on how wretched and low down you see yourself. Now, now here's, here's a question. That's a good, hey, Bishop, that's a good point, but there's, there's, there's some phases here because we did talk earlier with Brother Jackson here about spiritual growth. There's, there's, there's the things that you did before you came into the body and you say, God bless, hallelujah. He did. But then is when you come into the body, you got this issues and shortfalls, there's drops, there's sin, there's backsliding, and all that other stuff too. Listen to I haven't earned it. I have not earned it. I'm not. I have not earned it. If 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 I, I, there's no way I can feel like I've earned it or I deserve it or that's what I'm doing. I I don't. I, I absolutely do not. Well, here's a here's what Paul said. Paul said that he was the worst of sinners yeah. he, because he said I pressed. Listen, this is a rascal that stood there and, and wasted it. Satisfaction in the in the killing of saints. Yeah. Right. Right. Yep. And, and listen, and, he, and once he came into the light, that thing, that thing, that thing, Pull him up, ate him up. I think, I think <laughs> it pushed the seed all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> I think when you start I saying you realize that the very thing that I persecuted, the very thing that I hated, is mm. the very one that had loved and grace that had been merciful to me. I that said, I'm talking about. Fire him, it just consumed him. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> It, 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 now the thing is that he, he that's the reason he never got married too though is because he, he was chief huh? he was chief of all he was the chief <laughs> yeah but he also, yeah. And, and, and like i said i think that line we're talking about that's drawing about how fruitful we can be bringing people in the kingdom i'm saying is like i said bishop they are lines drawn because even paul said he didn't get married because he needed to give all to the gospel yeah now, now, let me bring some application in here for our load so I can make sure y'all throw something at me. You, can, you can't hit me. You can throw it at the screen, but you can't, you can't hit me. <laughs> I, I believe that, that one of the reasons that we all to study this parable, one of the reasons we need to get at the meat of it, is because, see, I believe that unless we are confronted with our fruitfulness, unless we consider this morning, am I being, am I surrendering all to God so that I can be as fruitful as I ought to be? Mm -hmm. I, 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 listen now, I, I live with this conviction. I, I gotta, I gotta live with this thing. I recognize that 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 Jesus didn't die thirty percent. <clears throat> no, sir. Oh, come on now, come he on here. Yeah. sixty percent. Refuse the wine he, and the gall. He gave this all for us. Yes, sir. God, God Almighty, and, and, and what I wanted, what I wanted, I used to in the past try to find a way for me to give all. But now I recognize God said you're going about it wrong. Okay. What you got to do is that you got to ask for that. You, you, this ain't something you can go get. This is something you have to ask for. I'm the one that can make you good soul. I can let the right stuff in there that'll, that, that'll push you past the thorns. Push you past the rocks. <laughs> push you past wayside. If, if, if you let me condition you right, I can get you into fruitfulness. And the only people who are fruitful are the people who are surrendered to God in such a way that ain't no hindrances, ain't no opposition, ain't no resistance, ain't no murmuring, ain't no excuses. 
when he speaks, they, they, hear my lord. <laughs> <laughs>